Hello, please can you introduce yourself to the viewers and uh, your experience uh, with Overcomers uh, conferences and your role and what uh, people should expect? Yeah, my name is Temi Ajayi and I partner with my husband to be the convener of this Overcomers conference. And it's been, this is the fifth year my experience is that, uh, my experience or my belief to start with is that we should, if you know you have conviction from God that this is what God has called you to do, just do it. Obedience is better than sacrifice. It's just to listen to, to God, hear the word of God. Uh, one of the speakers was talking yesterday, hear God and hear yourself and, you know, confirm with the word of God, if that's what God wanted to do. So I really thank, I'm thankful to God that we're actually akin to the voice of God and to be able to be used as a vessel. It's an honor because the word of God is uh, it's powerful. The kingdom of God is majestic. And I really honor, I really thank, I'm thankful to God to be able to use us, to count us worthy in spite of our filthiness. He still washes us with his blood of Jesus, wash us clean and count us worthy to be his child and to be able to carry his name and his mantle. He's powerful and he's humbling. Truly, I'm grateful to God. And people should come expectant because if you're not, if you come in, not expect and you receive nothing. So you come empty and the word of God will fill you. Uh, and it kept on going, unraveling, unraveling. You know, where one or two gather together, Father says he's there. So the, the powerful men and women of God that are part of this conference, it's unbelievable. We were talking about taking it back is the theme of it. And uh, we talked about keeping it, how to keep it. So it's not about and about knowing what to keep. In fact, it's, it's too powerful. So I think for the, next, for the rest of my life, I will keep on unraveling and, you know, digging into that, those words that has gone forth this weekend. Today is the third day and digesting them and chewing them, uh, uh, you know, and make them really uh, permeable, I want to say. It's permeable to my, through my skin, into my skull, my heart, and my mind, and be renewed by those words. So I'm really grateful to God. I'm actually short of God. I'm overwhelmed, by the way. <laughs> yeah, actually, this has been a very big project, and for the past years, you bring people not only within the community, you bring people from overseas, United States of America, yeah. the, in the continent of Africa, different people. Yeah. How do you uh, generate fund for all these because organizing a program this search for three days feeding people physically and spiritually and also bringing different ministers in songs and also providing accommodations and things like that yeah. for people yes. how do, can you tell us about this yeah it is marvelous it is it is marvelous and they uh, very like I, I say, it's really humbling. You know, when God calls you, if you love God, if you love anything, it's like even if you're in a partnership with a wife or your husband or whatever, girlfriend, you could buy 15,000, 15 million diamond gold to give because you love that woman. So sometimes we separate physical from spiritual. If you don't love God, uh, I, don't, I wonder if you'll be able to love men. And that's why even if you buy that 50 million gold, if you don't love God, if there's no God factor, that's why sometimes those marriages go into shambles. So the same love that we have for, the, for ourselves is the same love that is coming from the Father. So it's both vertical and horizontal. We get it from our Father and then we impart it into the nation and into our uh, you know, sphere or circumference. It's the love. And that love will propel you. You, you know, one pastor was talking yesterday, was going to bring a man of God from, for his conference. And uh, he says he was going to go to get a loan. Uh, you were there? It was a $20,000 loan just to bring this man because he believes he's got some anointing upon him. And he wants it to release to the nation. Not even for him because he could travel to, uh, you know, wherever that man is and just get that. But not for him alone, but because of the love for the people. So he was ready to get a loan to that. And that's, you know, for us. And we, when you love people, you do it at the place of peace.